In this video, we'll look at correlation coefficient. Now, there are very complicated ways to understand correlation coefficient in advanced statistics courses and even more complicated in data management. But for our purposes, we'll keep it nice and simple and just talk about correlation coefficient as how strongly the data resembles a line. That's our definition. And I'll put in brackets, it's also like a rating. It helps to think of the correlation as a rating of how strongly the data resembles a line. Now there are many interpretations of correlation coefficient out there, but I've picked a standard that I've used for my classes for years, and we're all going to agree to use the same standard when talking about correlation coefficient. I'm going to start with the positives and come back to the negatives. So let's start with this. If you have correlation coefficient, you get an answer. The computer is going to generate it for you. In this class, we don't have to do it by hand. The computer will get spreadsheets to do it. If you get a correlation of coefficient of 0 to 0 0.39, think of that like a percent. It's like a decimal, 0% to 39%. We don't say that that's low. We say no correlation. Our standard's going to be, unless you have 40%, or higher, we're going to assume there's no relationship, no correlation here. That's really crucial. I want to go over it again. Lots of people make that mistake. If you draw the line of best fit using technology and it gives you a correlation of say 0.35, that's not weak. That's a below 39 or 39 or below. We say no correlation. Think of it like grades even. The next one, 0 0.4 to 59. That's like 40% to 59%. Think about a 40% to a 59%. That's not great, but it's okay. We'll call it a weak correlation. And one other thing, we'll also talk about the sign of this correlation. That is, it's positive, and that means it's going up to the right. So we call this correlation 0 0.4 to 0 0.59 weak and positive. Not the end of the world mark with no correlation, but a weak mark. How about 60% to 79% or a correlation coefficient of 0.6 to 0.79? We'll call that moderate. Sometimes called medium, but I prefer moderate. And again, it's positive. So if you got 60 to 79% or correlation coefficient of 0.6 to 0.79, that's good. It's moderate and positive. And finally, if you're 80% to 100% or 0.8 to 1.0, that's a strong positive correlation coefficient. Now I think the negatives are easy to understand. It's the same type of thing, except instead of the data going up to the right, it goes down to the right. So take a look. If you're at negative 0.39 all the way down to zero, you're not weak. You have no relationship. We'll call that no correlation. If you're in that negative 0.59 to negative 0.4, think between negative 40 and negative 59%, we'll call that weak negative correlation. And just like the other side, if you're 60% to 79% but negative, we'll call that moderate and negative correlation. And finally, if you're between 100% to 80% negative or negative 1.0 to negative 0.8, we'll call that strong negative correlation. I'm going to do some examples, but just before I get there, sometimes a lot of software, probably the software we're going to use, sometimes you're given R squared, not R, and it's really important. Let's take this example. I just wrote down, I made up a number. Let's suppose you type in your data onto a spreadsheet and then you do the line of best fit and it tells you this R squared, it's the correlation coefficient squared is 0.72. You gotta square root that. Let's take a look at 0.752 square rooted and we'll round to four decimals. So R is approximately 0 0.8672. So it's important to remember if you're given R squared to square root it, that's your correlation coefficient, and that can be misleading. This R squared looked like it was just moderate, 
positive when in fact when we did the square root found out the true correlation coefficient was 0.8672 that's a strong positive correlation the last thing I wanted to do were some examples I drawn or well, sketched very rough sketches here I should probably label all the X and Y axes that's gonna bug me later I drew some sketches just to show you what they look like and then to make up what could be their correlation coefficient. We don't know. A, a program, some piece of technology would calculate it, but we'll estimate. Take a look at this one. It's really strong. It's clearly close together like a line and it's going down. So that's definitely strong negative. So somewhere in here, estimate how strong? We don't know. Pick a number, really any number, as long as it's in here. I'm going to estimate negative 0.91. As long as you pick in here, I'll give you full marks. This one here is also, well, not strong, but still very clearly like a line, though a little bit weaker and going down to the right. So that's negative. That's a moderate negative relationship. I'll estimate maybe that's negative point, I don't know, point seven two. I'm just estimating somewhere in here that's moderate negative. Here's a relationship, very loose, but still you can see the pattern that it's going down. So I need something going to the right and down that's negative and something that's weak. So maybe I'll say negative 0.44. That's a negative weak, and I just made up that number inside this range. Then I did two examples here. No clear pattern. I can't see it going up. I can't see it going down. And they don't look like a line at all. So both of them are no correlation. I can't even tell which is a negative number or a positive number. It doesn't matter. Both of them are no correlation. So maybe I'll pick this one is 0 0.22. I'm just making up a number that's no correlation. Making up another one for this graph, which is also no correlation. But take a look at these last three graphs, all positive, going up to the right. This one looks really strong, very close to a line, strong positive. I'm going to give it 0 0.95. That's like 95% like a straight line. If you got 1.0, that would be 100%. It's a perfect line, totally straight. So I'm pretty confident with this 0 0.95. And again, I'm estimating inside this range, 0.8 to 1.0. But if it's 1.0, it's a perfectly straight line, which this graph isn't. It's like a line but not as strong as this one I would say moderate positive so moderate positive I'm gonna give it a point seven six still good very good even but not quite as strong as the other ones and finally this one going up to the right clearly but very loose very weak that's a weak positive I'll give that a zero point four eight and there you have some basics of correlation coefficient. What it is, what numbers we'll use to talk about how strong or weak and negative and positive it is. A reminder when you're doing correlation coefficient te using technology and some examples.